And my husband and I would always talk like, oh yeah, we should start a company. And then he would always say, you should be the CEO. And I'd be like, no, not me. You should be the CEO. I, I am not, this is not, I can't do that. It's just not me. I'm not CEO. I, and all this time, I, I had just never thought of myself as being that person. And for me to go through this experience, and when we did our startup project, I wasn't the CEO. There was somebody who had pitched an idea that I had liked, and I joined her team, and, and she was the CEO. And so it wasn't even that you know I got to be the CEO, but just going through that process and seeing, oh, this is what the process is, and I really enjoy it, and I bring all this passion and creativity to it, and that's what it takes to be a leader. You know, I don't have to be CEO like I can just be myself and and that will be enough for me to be able to lead a team with just my my passion for what I'm doing and so it was this it was this transformation that I just felt in myself where I had this confidence and I said oh yeah I can be the CEO and that felt so empowering it was just I suddenly saw my world through a different lens I saw my job through a different lens I saw my future my my career laid out in front of me in just a different way and, and that's what I loved so this transformation in my thinking that came about as a result of being at Startup Weekend inspired me to create the Technovation Challenge in order to bring that Startup Weekend-like experience for girls in high school. The goal of Technovation is to teach girls about high-tech entrepreneurship and to enable them to feel that they too can one day start and lead a technology company. I attended Startup Weekend in San Francisco in September of 2009. A few weeks later, as the idea for Technovation started taking shape in my head, I shared the idea with Tara from Iridescent, and her excitement and enthusiasm for the idea inspired me to take a leave from my day job and pursue it full time. I want every girl and every woman to have that confidence that, that they can lead and they can create something out of nothing. Because I think that that is so empowering because then you're never at the mercy of someone else to tell you what to do with your job, with your life, your career, anything to have that confidence to say, oh yes, I can create something out of scratch, I, I, I can create whatever my vision is, and I can lead people to execute on it, to build it, and to make it happen. So I think that that's an experience that every girl, every woman should have. And maybe you can't start too early, but I, I think you should definitely start by the time you're in high school to be exposed to that attitude, to be exposed to that concept. And so. I feel like that's something that everyone in the country should experience. I think everyone in the world should experience that. Um, the reason I like technology or high tech to be a vehicle for that is because I feel like it's, it is something that touches so many different things. So you can create a high tech product that touches so many different people and, and has such a huge impact on people's lives. And, yeah, you know, it, it could be. I mean, you could you could start a cupcake stand and, and have you know the same kind of entrepreneurial experience, but if you use technology as a tool, you can you can scale it much faster. You can reach so many more people, and that's why I think high tech is a, is a great um, means for delivering that experience. Yeah.